Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Crew today. And today, what we're doing, well, boys and girls, we're back in Ark Survival Evolved, that's right. And what we're doing here is that we're taking a look at another mod on Ark Survival Evolved, that's right. Another mod. And if this Rex doesn't give it away behind us, <laughs> or the turn it on, or anyone else is around us, what do you just get to see? It is the Jurassic Park expansion mod. Uh, but there is one little enclosure that I must tell you guys before you think this is going to be on Arc ASA. Um, for one, it's probably not going to come to Arc ASA. I hurry that that if we will find a Jurassic Park mod on there, it will probably be someone else making it. Uh, the reason why is because this mod is no longer being developed by the mod developer that well, was doing this mod. Um, so there hasn't been a single update to the mod, but don't worry, all these creatures you see around me is not all the creatures. There's a few other ones that did not spawn in, like a couple ocean creatures, and there's a few bosses in this mod as well. So what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to take a look at some of the weapons, the uh, two crafting tables behind us, and all these creatures that I have spawned right now in front of us. So yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video because there's a lot of cool creatures in this mod. Let's do some more or other types of creatures that we basically don't have spawned right this moment. So let's get off game mode and let's work at the weapons first. First of all, you got this. You got the, what's this, this thing called? The hand cannon, which is supposed to be a, what well, if my call the uh, directions are correct, it's supposed to be a, um... Uh, what is it going to be Desert Eagle? As you can see. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Then you have this gun right here, which is the Tranquilizing Dart Rifle. Uh, you can rapidly, like, just keep on shooting in, in the basics and stuff. Um, this, this gun does come with its own ammunition as well. Then we have this, which is, is the M4 Rifle. Yeah, the M4 rifle, guys. That is cool. And I like the reload animation as well. That is very nice. Then we got the shoddy, which is the SPAS. You guys are loud over there. Yeah, you're lucky everybody on YouTube does not hear your loud mouth. But, as you can see, doesn't look like... Now, I do remember this gun being on Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I have played this gun a few times on Black Ops, like the OG Black Ops and stuff. Um, none of the newer Black Ops games. But, yes, this is the... that. Then, next is this weapon right here, which is called the Hunting Bow. And you can do this. Now, this bow... Um, it will not take regular stone arrows, it will take metal arrows, so I don't think it will take trank arrows to shoot, as you see there. So yeah, we got this nice awesome bow. And then we got, uh, which was, is 6, is this gun, which is the Machigan gun. Damn, that is pretty freaking loud, isn't it? Yeah, that sounds like a shotgun, more likely. But to be honest, I don't know what this gun's supposed to be. Like, in real life. Like, it just... I don't know, it looks pretty chunky. That looks like a grenade launcher underneath it, but... It looks like a, a cross of a hybrid of, of an LMG and an assault rifle? Let me know what you think of this gun there, guys. What is this supposed to be? Like, I really don't know. But, we also have, last but not least, which is on 7, this gun right here, which is called, what's it called? The Post Shotgun. Wow, wait, 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 wait what? Holy crap! It looks like there's a massive cooldown. Yeah, you can't fire after you fire one shot, so it fires one shot and stuff. But, you're probably wondering what kind of ammunition each gun takes. Well, let's go into our menu. Um, this is the specialized shrinking darts that comes with the mod. Um, it is for the, of course, this rifle right here, the trekking dart. Um, 
this bolt or is specialized to mod as well. The matching bolts which goes to this gun right here. This is just regular ammunition that's already in the game, so you really don't get this from the mod. Or the advanced rifle bolts, or well, I don't know why I have that. Or the metal arrows, or the shotgun shells, or the helmet. Which helmet? Well, what's my mouse over there? Um, gets put into the pose shotgun. So yeah, but you're probably wondering what about the armor you got on your tank? That armor looks freaking cool and epic. Well, okay, let's talk about the armor. We have the Merc helmet, which it looks like it's supposed to be. What the picture I'm going by is supposed to be a um, desert desert armor from Standard Art. <clears throat> uh, check that. Um, how do you craft it? Well, it takes one crystal, three fiber, one hide, and two polymer. At least I think that's to craft the other recipes required. Then we have the Merc uh, shirt. Um, this is like a, a gilly. Um, shirt. Uh, it takes four fiber, two hide, and two palmer. And then we have the Merc pants, which looks like the picture of it is a gilly uh, pants. Uh, it takes four fiber, one hide, and two palmer. And then we have the Merc gloves, which looks like a desert gloves. Uh, it takes to craft this is two fiber, one hide, and one palmer. And then we have the boots, which is the Merc boots. Uh, looks like this again is the desert armor set, so yeah. Um, five it takes four fiber, two hide, and uh, two palmer. Even though these armors are mercenaries, uh, he used uh, pictures from other armor sets to recraft it. But when you have it on, it doesn't look what these pictures are showing. It looks completely different. Maybe the gloves are the same with the picture is, but the shirt, the pants, the boots, the helmet. Is just really nice. It looks like you could role play as a soldier boy in our survival evolve. That's right, a <laughs> soldier boy. So you're probably all wondering, yeah, it looks like it's starting to get dark out. Um, crap. Well, you know what, guys? I am sorry if I'm using this, but let's set time of day 10. There we go. So that at least we can see now, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. So where do you craft the weapons at? Well, you craft the weapons in this, in the engine crafting station. You can also craft the binoculars. Um, specifically to this mod, uh, binoculars. Um, you can also craft the hybrid creation station, which is right beside us. Then the weapons, the ammunition, which is the rocker rocket. Draco Missile. I don't know what that belongs to. I haven't seen Rocket Launcher to this uh, mod. And then you also have the Mechic Bullets as well. Then attachments. You got the uh, Scope Attachment and Mark II. Uh, explosives. You got the Gas Grenade. And then you have the Handgun. Uh, you, what you need to craft this thing though. 100 Palmer, 175 Metal, and 75 Fo- I mean, sorry for that guys, I didn't mean Palmer. I mean 100 Smith and Pays, 175 Metal, and 75 Palmer. There you go. Um, for the Trank Rifle, you need 350 Smith and Pays, 250 Electronics, 350 Metal, and 250 Palmer. Then the next one is the M4 Rifle, uh, you need 200 Smith and Pays, 200 Metal, and 65 Palmer. And for the SPAS, um, you need 500 Smith Pays, 325 Metal, and 380 Palmer. Then you have the um, Hunting Crossbow, which you need 250 Smith Pays, 75 Metal, and 175 um, Palmer to craft that. And last but not, well, it's probably not even the last weapon, no, it's not. Uh, you have the Machiant Gun. I uh, need 500 metal, I mean Smith Base, uh, 200 metal, and two, 500 uh, Palmer. Then for the tech rifle, or at least the post shotgun as it's being called, you need 40 black pearls, 200 crystal, 10 helmet, uh, 450 metal, and 150 Palmer to craft that. 
So yeah, that's a lot of stuff to really that you need to be crafting. Um, but there's that, and then we have this table right here, the hybrid engine table. Now this is where you're going to be doing a lot of creating hybrids in. Because there's a good bit in here. You have the uh, Indominus Rex clone. Um, they're all going to be clones. The Chrono Raptor. Uh, the Beniscon. Where I, I'm hoping but not the name right. Indo Raptor. Which is cool. The Stego Tops. Uh, you got the Surmatian. Um, Colon Saurus. Pentagon Evolve Giganotosaurus, I uh, don't know what the rest of it says. Spinal Raptor, uh, Gorgotris, Gorgotris, uh, Inzertosaurus, uh, whatever. <laughs> Ultimate Saurus, we got the Pentagon Evolve Spinosaurus, the Armored Creature Creatosaurus, uh, Kurosaurus, Blue. We have Chari, we have Delta, and um, Echo, and then we have the Ultimate Source, which, wait, Ultimate Source, I thought we were just seeing one somewhere up here, somewhere, oh well, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> but you also have this, uh, which is basically a uh, Spinosaurus DNA, in the practice, you just need some Spinosaurus uh, cells and basic Dino DNA, 25 of it in one cell. Then you have the uh, Velociraptor one, you just need one Raptor Crawl and 25 basic dinosaur DNA. Uh, you have the Transforce one, which you need two Transforce arms, which when you do here at T-Rex, you do get two arms, so it's not much of a big deal. The, but you need 25 basic dinosaur DNA. Uh, then you have the Coronal one. Uh, you need Alpha Coronal arm, which is one, and also the basic dinosaur DNA, 50. Um, a lot of the DNA, though, once you do kill a dinosaur like this, you will actually get the DNA if you kill the dinosaurs that's included with the mod. Like, every dinosaur will give you the basic dinosaur DNA, but if you kill a T-Rex, as much as I know of, you will get the T-Rex DNA. Now, also, how much is probably depending on how much you put your uh, settings as and stuff. But as you see, each um, one does come with somewhat kind of, like, different DNA and stuff that you can easily get by killing some creatures in the mod but yeah that is simply those two things out of the way and early 12 minutes into the video but we're going to look at all the stats for each a single of these creatures we're probably going to be rexy for last because she's the best <laughs> but let's look at the dart frog uh so the dart frog here it takes a regular basic uniform saddle uh the health is 175.4 into health 140 into stamina, 100 into weight, 159.5 into melee. And remember, this is a level 1. So, whether you have your levels as in your single player world or your server, it will differ on that. But I'm just doing a level 1 as for example. But this thing does have some pretty cool special abilities that I will be doing an arc series with this mod. Um, on Arc Survival Evolve, so you will I want to keep an eye out for that at least. So, yeah. Next, we have, well, the, tr the, the, the <sighs> Thank you for getting me stuck. The Trandon, which, the saddle is pretty weird looking, but the, it's not really a Trandon. Now, yes, it looks like the Trandon from Jurassic Park, but he used the Chapajara modeling because you can see on his name. Oh. Wrong button. <laughs> so it will take a Chapajara saddle because it's basically a Chapajara. But as a level one, we have 225.5 into health, uh, 401.0 uh, into stamina. Then you have 201.0 into weight and 258.4 into melee damage. So that is the trend on of the Jurassic Park Mai, which is pretty cool. Then we have Baby Zilla, or Zilla Baby, if you know what the Zilla is. We already did a mod review of the bigger Godzilla, or Zilla, in purpose of wherever you want to call him. To hear me, it is called Godzilla. My armor is weird looking right now. But yeah, we have the Zilla, which looks like it's supposed to be like a Reaper and stuff. Um, 
but it's a level one. We have is that four thousand into four thousand point five in health. I I think that is, guys. I think that is four thousand point five into health. Uh, six hundred and sixty six into um stam. Six hundred and sixty three into weight. Two hundred thirty two point seven into melee damage. Oh, shop. Everybody knows about what you can do. Then we got the Jurassic Park Rex, which is probably the best one of them all. Well, maybe not. But as a level 1, we have uh, 1,700 or is that 1,700, 17, I think? I believe this might be 1,700. 1,700.5 into boat health. Uh, we have 800 into stamina, 600 into weight, and 232.7 and to melee damage. So that is the Jurassic Park Transforce Rex. Uh, a really cool creature. You know, Rex is... A T-Rex is always my favorite dinosaur. I don't really care what you're talking about. Now this model is just looks freaking vicious on the arc. And then, uh, we well, got the ultimate source here, which is a hybrid. Um, it looks like it's part Anki, part Tri Tri Rex, and Raptor. So yeah, we get all that in one. Uh, the ultimate source is a level 1, we have 1700.5 into health, 800 into stamina, 600 into weight, 232.7 into melee damage. So yeah, and wait, I think the Rex here can do a roar. Yep, and that's basically the best thing about this big guy. Now I'm just going to do the Rex as a war because you know it's a very iconic, very awesome thing. Then we have the V-Rex. Now I think, if I'm wrong please let me know, this was in a King Kong movie. I don't remember the, the I know it was just called King Kong, that's all I know. Um, it was starring with Jack Black I think he was in it. I could be wrong about that, please let me know about that in the comments. But this is the V-Rex at the level 1. You will be having pretty much, um... Is that... 2,650.5 into health. Um, 700 into stamina. 650 into weight. And 232.7 into melee damage. So yeah, you do have that good bit of stuff in the V-Rex. Again, I think this creature was in um, one of the King Kong movies. Huh. Then we got one of the bosses. This is three of four, five boxes? Because that's another one over there. We have the Alpha 06. Now, these guys, you could actually tame them out in a while before you kill them. Uh, you can tame both these, all three of these guys, even that guy over there, but I wouldn't recommend doing that guy too much. And they look freaking just monstrously. Yeah, but they are powerful. But if you want to get some ailment and taking rooms unlocked, you can kill these guys. There is a few other bosses that didn't spawn in, but well, again, we might find them in a season of this mod. So, let's look at Alpha 06 as a level 1. We have 36,000.13 into health. Uh, 45,000... Or actually, 4,500 into stamina, 3,500 into weight, and 159.5 into melee damage. Holy crap, this thing is a monster. That's a level 1, though. A level 1! Guys! A level 1! For that much health! And that much freaking weight and stamina? What about you? Um, Omega Rex? So yeah, that is the Alpha 6. Let's check the Omega. Can we even get to him? Guess what? There we go. Okay, so we are looking at a. It, it, is that twenty five thousand into twenty five thousand point three into health? Too, it's too bad I don't have the awesome spyglass to tell exactly how much this is, but uh, that's a lot into health. Uh, we got four thousand five hundred into stamina, uh, three five three thousand five hundred into weight. And 151.9 into melee damage. That is... That is really good 
for a boss. Even being as a level 1 boss, that is just really freaking good. Then we have the Jurassic World Revolution Ankylosaurus with this thing looks, oh my goodness, mm, monster. So this thing has 16,000.3 into health, uh, 1,200 into stamina, 1,500 into weight, and 198.3 into melee damage. Again, pretty beastly, but not as beastly as Alpha 6 and Omega Rex. Now, let's move into some of the Hope Wars. We're going to be hitting those guys up over there pretty soon. So we have the standard regular Jurassic Park Anki, which is slightly bigger than the standard Anki source. So let's look at the stats. As of level 1, we have 1,300.5 in health, 500 into stamina, 550 into weight, 318.6 into melee damage. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Ain't that right? As a level 1 little guy, then we have the Parasaur, uh, which is a very iconic dinosaur, um, the Jurassic Park Parasaur. As a level 1, we'll get 550.5 into health, uh, 400 into stamina, four, 400 into weight, and 232.7 into melee damage. So again, not bad for a herbivore. I mean, at least this one's standing on its two hind legs. Um, so yeah. Then we have the Brachiosaurus. Yeah, the Brachiosaurus. The big old Brachy. Uh, which I think that is how you use for a name? Yep. It looks like it takes the Bruntles, uh icon. So as a level 1 Brachy, it does get its own little saddle. Which is a platform saddle. Um, but let's talk about the uh, stats first. So, we get 5,400.5 into health, 750 into stamina, 1,800 into weight, and 232.7 into melee damage for the Brachiosaurus. But, as you can see, it also comes with a platform saddle. Now, I don't know if this, if this is supposed to be a bug, but it reaches out about right here. Above the tail. Now, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like intended or if it's just like a little bit of a bug for the mod and stuff, but dang, that is a very big creature in this mod. I gotta say, myself. Yeah, it's just freaking. Just look at this. What's turn around? What's going to K mode? And we're just about. There. Like, that's just big. I mean, I know dinosaurs were big, some of them, like the, the sauropods were, but dang, this thing is massive in the arc. And yes, I'm covering you as well, and you, don't worry. I already did you, so shut up. Shut up. Just shut up, okay? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You know, it is hard to do these mod reviews with dinosaurs, just wants to rush you in and rush and rush and rush. <laughs> but we get the Triceratops now, I'm trying to find. Taking the camera all over the freaking place, if that's making you sick, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we get the Triceratops, and within the Triceratops, uh, as a level 1, we got a 1000.5 into health, uh, 600 into stamina, 480 into weight, and 198.3 into melee damage for the trike. So, yeah, there's the trike. The Triceratops of the Jurassic Park series. Then we have this guy, the Stegosaurus, the or the Jurassic Stego, Jurassic Park Stego. Uh, we have 1,000.5 into weight health, 420 into stamina, 500 into weight, 232.7 into damn LA damage, and this thing looks cool. And um, this guy up here is the only one that gets a custom saddle, because the Anki, the Parasaur, the trike and the stego all takes vanilla dinosaur saddles. Um, the omega and the uh, alpha and that inky takes regular vanilla dinosaur saddles. Uh, those three V Rexes over there, well, the V Rex, the Ultimate Rex, and the Jurassic Park Rex all takes Rex saddles as well. So, yeah. 
And now we're going to talk about the Death Dodo. Now, can't ride this thing. It does not have a saddle. Have a saddle as far as I know of. Um, so I can't really say too much if this thing would be worth taming or not. But uh, yeah, it's uh, just a Death Dodo, or that's what its name is. Level one, it has nearly twenty-three thousand point two into health. 25, 2,500 into stamina, 666 po uh, points into weight, and 123.4 into melee damage. So yeah, that is the uh, death dodo, and again, like I said, I don't think this thing can be ridden because we, I can't find a saddle for it, sadly. Um, so I don't even think it would be worth taming at least. Uh, that's my opinion. Um, even if you do tame it, I don't think you can, but I don't know what saddle this thing would take. But, uh, what, hang on, I wonder if we could tell by what I got. It says it's a dodo, so, to be honest, I really don't know. If you can't ride it, then what's the worth of a death dodo? I really don't know. But, let's work over here after the Raptor Squad, or at least the Jurassic World's, uh, creatures. And Jurassic Park creatures as well. So, starting off, we have the East West Sonor Raptor. It looks really good. Its model is nice. I like this model really a lot. It looks like that type of Raptor, at least, uh, guys. Um, but for a level 1, we have 350.4 into health, 550 into stamina, 250 into weight, 206.9 into melee damage for the East West Sonor Raptor. So, yeah. I'm not sure why you have food in your inventory. I thought I took that stuff out. Or was that that? Huh. Okay, whatever, whatever. Well, then next we have the Isla Nubular Raptor, which again looks really awesome. I like it that he took the original Raptor model and just changed up just slightly to fit the Jurassic Park theme or Jurassic World theme modeled Raptors. So yeah, that's very cool. But this guy is a level 1, uh, he has 360.4 into health, uh, 550 into stamina, 250 into weight, and 206.9 into melee damage. So yeah, that is the Isla Nubar and the Isla Sonor Raptors, which looks very, very much smaller than these guys right here. Next up is Delta. and. You make a lot of noise! You know that? He's all do. I should have soul ball in up, but I don't have a soul ball. Or the soul gun in this in this world right now. So please, please all be quiet. I am trying to right here. Yeah. You're making me cry now. Very much. <laughs> I am sorry for that there guys. It is very loud right here right now. <laughs> With all these freaking raptors and stuff. They are so freaking loud. But oh, Wiscav came out and finished a small review up before I pull up my hair. <laughs> so, the Delta Raptor, or Delta for short, as a level 1, we get 350.4 into health, 550 into um, stem, 250 into weight, 206.9 into melee damage. So, let's move on to the next one, which is Echo. Echo, Echo. <laughs> Again, I gotta say these models are pretty cool looking. I do like them. You're like more like a green. You're more well, actually no. You're more like a dark green. You're more like a yellowish color, and you're like a like a greenish too. And then we have blue over there. So Echo is also level one. Its stats is 350.4 into health, 550 into stamina, 250 into weight, and 206.9 into melee damage. For Echo, Echo! That's right, Echo, Echo. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. Uh, so much. I'm just, I, I don't know. <laughs> then we got Chari, which is, uh, again, very nice looking color. As a level 1, we have 350.4 uh, points into health, or at least the health, uh, 550 into stamina, 250 into weight, and 206.9 into melee damage. And again, Troy, you just look really cool. But you're probably wanting to know about blue. 
she looks very nice as well. Which is some reason it's a male. Okay, I have no clue why that's a thing. But I thought blue was supposed to be a female. Honestly, Venus always spawned in as a male. I have no clue. But let's talk about Blue's stats as a level 1. Again, a level 1. We have 350.4 into health, 550 into stamina, 250 into weight, and 206.9 into melee damage. And then we have this guy right here, which is supposed to be the Indoraptor. I kind of like the model, but it... Like, there's another mod that really does do the Indoraptor a little bit more different than this. Um, and probably better in ways. But let me know what you think about this model of the Indoraptor. Because if you look at it, it does look pretty cool. You could tell he did use the Raptor model. But just made the arms slightly bigger, longer. The head slightly hangs out a little bit longer as well. And just, you know, all that different goodies. But... You probably all, well, of course, all this guy right there takes all raptor saddles. Uh, the Indoraptor here also takes a raptor saddle as well. But as a level 1, we have 950.5 into health, uh, 800 into stamina, 450 into weight, and 232.7 into melee damage. Not sure if this guy can. Okay. Z, nothing, X, nothing. There's a pounce, in course attack, but I don't see no other, like, abilities for the thing. But, uh, yeah, we have the Indoraptor, and then uh, we have the big old bad boy, the Indo Indominus Rex. Now, this mod is basically used by a lot of mod developers, so, like, this is not the only mod that uses it. There's actually a standalone mod just for that guy by himself. And the Primal Fear uses it, uh, Arc Eternal uses it, just basically every mod in Arc Survival Evolved does use that model as the Indominus Rex. And then it's all why it's just like start yelling at one time. So you're probably wondering what about the stats of the Indominus Rex, and well, some reason it's showing a Raptor uh, picture, but don't worry. It doesn't take a raptor saddle, it takes its own unique saddle. Actually, two. There's the original saddle, and then the Indominus Rex stealth saddle. Which I'm going to be showing you guys what the stealth saddle does look like. So, by its stats, it gets 4,000.3 into health, 1,200 into stamina, 900 into weight, 263.8 into melee damage. And let's show you guys the regular shadow. And no, that's not what I want. I see, but there, that's what the regular shadow does look like. And to be honest, if you hold on C, you can go invisible. But you can see the shadow will be in the rider, of course. Uh, then you have the roar. Okay. Now, let's get off this guy. And we'll... No, that's what I want. And we'll switch this other saddle in. Now, I don't understand the saddle. It's supposed to be invisible, but unless... You know, you still see the character and the saddle. Yeah, you still kind of see us. Don't know what the saddle is meant to be, but yeah, it's, it's just something, I guess, there to... Please the audience of the Indominus Rex uh, for having a invisible saddle at least. So yeah, you have that option for the Indominus Rex, the most bad dinosaur of the Jurassic series. I mean, look how evil those eyes look. It's like red in those eyes. And like I said, this mod is not the only mod that uses the Indominus Rex uh, model. Or at least this model of the Indominus Rex. But we have one more dinosaur to really push everything off forward. Which is the most iconic dinosaur in the mod. And the most known dinosaur, which is Rex. But it is Rexy. 
Uh, she is the most starred dinosaur in the whole franchise, as my knowledge goes. And she has no gender. How? Okay, so that means you can't breed her, either, guys. Wow, okay. But, you're probably wondering, what the heck is their stats of tank? Well, as a level 1, we have 2,500.5 into health, uh, 900 into stamina, 700 into weight, 232.7 into melee damage, and yeah, that's it. And of course, let's take her over this way. And like I was saying, of course, she has the iconic roar. Well, actually, that's not a roar. <laughs> That was actually a ram headbot. Let's back up a little bit. But she does have that iconic ward out. For some reason she's very low on her ward right now, but I don't know why. But that is actually to be honest with you guys. Um, what's going to game mode? That is the Jurassic Park mod. That's right, and like I said, there is more creatures. I, I will show you guys. Hang on, let's uh, go in this mode. Let's go up to mod hubs. Let's click on that. Let's go over here, and as you can see, there's still like more creatures that's in this mod. There's this guy right here, uh, aberrant version of a Rex of this mod, or a Brontosaurus. Actually, no, that's a Brontosaurus, not aberrant. Then you have this guy. The Allosaurus, the Jurassic uh, World Allosaurus, um, this guy right here, which is the Ascended Megalodon. Uh, of course, you got the Atrasuchus, uh, the Apartosaurus, which I knew there was another sauropod in this vibe. The Armored Ceratosaurus. Uh, you also have the. Wait, is this? Yeah, Armor Strider Source, the uh, Berry Onyx, uh, of course, Blue, uh, the Brachiosaurus, this guy, which is a, or oh, I guess it's a Terror Bird. Then you get this guy right here, uh, this guy right here, the Carnal Raptor, I get the Carnal Saurus, uh, whatever this guy's supposed to be, Charlie. You got this guy right here, which is the Colossus Megalodon. Uh, Charlie, like I said, and then you got this guy, which we also have at least another two, a couple more pages, as you can see here. Around six different pages of different creatures that you can see. Well, tame. Different species of the trikes. Um, you know, there is so many things, and there's even this, which is not even from the Jurassic Park movies, which is a dragon. <laughs> a dragon? Ultimate dragon? Yeah, not sure why that guy's in there, but whatever. We mammoth. Uh, this guy, you know, there's a lot of um, creatures that's really in this mod. But I do gotta say, this mod would be a good mod to have if you're willing to have. If Ark wants to go back to the main screen, <laughs> that'd be nice. Uh, but while we're waiting for it to do that, um, just. This mod is just a nice mod to have. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> I was getting to get worried there. I thought the uh, game froze for me. But that is the Jurassic Park mod, guys. To be really honest with you, I do think this mod would be worth getting. I know I will say this a lot about each mod I've done for Arx by Evolve. Each mod would be worth picking up. If you're looking for experience of new dinosaurs in the world, at least this mod would be it, and any of the other mods would be nice to have too in the world. If you want something this different, something that's new, new dinosaurs spawning in the world, taming them up, and all of that, I would recommend each mod I have done so far. That is a creature mod, but there's still more to come, trust me. For Ark Survival, I'm still going to do content in this video, this game right here. That's right, boys and girls. There's still going to be a lot of content coming out for this game. I don't care if Arc ASA is out or not. I'm still doing content on this game as well, with Arc Ascended as well. Uh, just gotta wait on Arc Ascended just a little bit more longer. 
But guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'd like to know, do you guys enjoyed, or actually if you have played the Jurassic Park on expansion on this, this continued, or at least this one. Um, have you tried it? Did you play it? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments down below if you have. If you haven't, well, don't worry. There will be a gameplay series. I'll be coming out with this in the future of my YouTube channel. So, yeah. We'll get to see these guys maybe sometime in the future. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. But that's going to be it for this video there, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to your channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. For now.